So this video is looking at progressive versus interlaced. So this video here is 1080p. That actually means that it's 1920 pixels versus 1080 pixels. But instead of a P standing for pixels, it actually stands for progressive. So whenever you see a 1080p TV, it's actually standing for 1080 progressive. Now interlaced is another type of video you can have. Instead of 1080p, it would be 1080i. So let's go back to basics on TVs. So videos, as you're probably well aware, are actually images or frames which are played back rapidly. Now this screen, as in my demonstration, is 6 by 9 pixel display. So it's going to be a really poor resolution. And what happens is, progressively, our frames are actually scanned in line by line. So you'll see that in a second on this animation. Mm, there you go, first line, second line, third line, fourth line. That is how a frame is actually put onto a display, progressively. So let's imagine that we are scanning 50 frames per second, which is quite a lot. Now, let's imagine that it's going through this cable here. So this cable is plugged into our TV, 50 frames per second is going to be sent through this cable. That's what progressive does. Now the problem with this is that it's actually sending through a lot of information. A heck of a lot of information about the video. So basically, the problem with that is the following. Or a solution, should I say, to progressive is the following. And that is using something called interlaced. And what that does, if you see here, it's very similar. Very similar to progressive, but it scans every other line. So progressive does it line by line. Interlaced does it every other line. And what that does, it, it reduces the amount of information. So the file size will be smaller without affecting the quality of the video too much. It actually reduces it by about 50% the information which is then sent by that cable which you saw earlier. Which is great. So it cuts down file size and it's not really ruining the visual quality. However, modern day computers, modern day streaming plus modern day screens don't use interlaced. Technology has progressed so much that progressive videos are coped with very well now. So interlaced is great for old school but not really used anymore. 